Now, a Basildon-based aspiring screenwriter is hoping to bring a touch of the supernatural to the county with his production of Eva's Legacy. <sighs> Da, da, da. It's a short film. It'll run for about ten minutes, and they're looking for money um, to help fund its two thousand pound budget. I tell you what, Hollywood could learn something on the two thousand pound budget for a ten minute film. That's incredible. Uh, look, let's find out more about this. And Essex as a filmmaking county, I think this is a really good step forward, don't you? The screenwriter himself is uh, Kevin Mears. Morning, Kevin. Nice Morning. to see you. How you doing? Um, and director is with us as well, Simon Frith. Morning, Simon. Morning, Dave. Uh, Kevin, to start with, tell us about Eva's legacy. Um, yeah, it's about a, a lady called Eva, funnily enough. Really? Um, yeah. <laughs> Has she got a legacy? Um, yeah, and, and then some. All right. Um, she decides to give her house away to a children's charity. Um, she lives in a, a big house in the countryside and um, decides to give it away. Um, and a local news crew arrive to do a good news story about the house and about the, um, her legacy. Um, but instead they uncover a dark secret from her past. Um, so there's a supernatural side of things and... Uh, yeah, it develops from there, really. Right, and how are you going to do a film in ten minutes? Well, that's the thing, really. You can do an awful lot in ten minutes. Um, I mean, I'd written an early version of the script and I wanted to make it um, as a calling card and uh, I thought a low-budget film would be the best way forward. Really. And, in fact, low-budget films can get an enormous amount of attention, can't they, if, yeah. if they're played in the right place and they hit the right notes? Definitely, yeah. You have to um, hit the ground running, really, um, establish the characters right at the beginning and... I think you can get um, away a lot more in a short film than you can in a, in a longer film. Really. Well, also, if, if you can prove your skills uh, in both direction and writing yeah. in ten minutes, then you can, you can certainly do it exactly. in two hours, can't exactly, you? Exactly, yeah. I mean, like I said, I wanted this to be almost like a calling card for the industry, really, to get my name out there. No. And I think if I can hit the ground running with this in ten minutes, then hopefully I can get some longer, wo uh, longer work in the future. So how do you become a screenwriter, for heaven's sake? Well, it's just it's something I've always liked doing, really. Um, I've been writing um, more professionally for the last couple of years, uh, and last year I was shortlisted for something called the BBC Writers Prize. Really, were you? Uh, yeah. And That's that was, fantastic. That was, um, that was last year, and that got my... Well, it boosted my confidence, first of all. Um, I mean, before that, I was writing things and sending things off and uh, getting good feedback, but wasn't really getting the progress I wanted to, really. Yeah. Um, but then I was shortlisted for this award. Um, I think it was a 2,000 entrance, and I got down to the final three or four and got my name into the BBC, and they've been really helpful uh, developing, developing me as a writer and things like that. So That's very helpful, because you can't get better than that. Exactly I mean, right, that yeah. That is absolutely brilliant. Now, where is this film going to be shot? Um, it's been shot in, um, in the Fens, in um, uh, it's an old Georgian manor house near, near Bocking in Braintree. Yeah. And um, it's absolutely perfect for the film. Um, we actually ended up developing the script around the location because it's it's just perfect, really. So right, it's a, like a, a Georgian manor house, and it's yeah. an event. Uh, you know, I've done uh, lots of events there yeah. over the years because they've got a big marquee at the back, haven't they? That's right. Yeah, yeah. it's, it's a, a wedding venue first and foremost, I think. So yes. But, so um, the, you're you're using that. Yeah. And and Simon, from the director's uh, point of view. How difficult to work on a short film like this? It's, it's quite a challenge. I mean, the, the, you mentioned the budget at the front end there that uh, is quite challenging. We're giving up our time for free, so I'm, I, we're looking at this as a, an opportunity, A, to sort of help promote Essex film um, and also promote local talent. Yes. Um, and not just um, the writing talent, but we've got a great cast as well, um, most of whom are coming from um, from the county. And uh, it's, it's, a, it's a way of... Of pulling it together, and I think the the challenges are there, but we'll, we'll make it work. Right. And have you, are you using professional actors or amateur actors? Professional actors. Um, uh, David Streams uh, is our uh, lead male. Um, he's worked in a whole plethora of, of things uh, across television, BBC, um, stage work, and uh, he's, a, he's a great asset, really. Yeah. Um, Elizabeth Twells is a, a, a relatively young but super super talented uh, young lady and uh, pleasure to work with her. So, right. Um, and how long would it take to actually put this film together to get ten minutes of film? Um, there's so far we had a hell of a lot of um, if I can say <laughs> that on radio. I think you just have <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, a lot of um, uh, time in, in pre-production. So we've been working on storyboards yeah. and uh, planning it all through. 
we've got two days allotted to actually shoot the whole thing. That's all our budget will allow, so it's quite a challenge to pull it off in that time. And don't tell me, it's next Monday and Tuesday, and you're on the route of the Tour de France, <laughs> yeah. so therefore can't get to the venue to film it. Is that right? Well, that's, there's a challenge. I only found that out listening to the, to the James Well show yesterday morning, and that's the first <laughs> I'd heard of it. I, I live in Essex, but right down the bottom end in South End, and yeah. uh, hadn't been any awareness of this at all so uh, we're now going to work out it won't affect to... you it won't seriously affect you will it <laughs> well i'm hoping it's just a case of people coming f from the uh, yeah. from the west of the county trying to get it might, to not, be a, yeah, it might not end up being a two minute film <laughs> after this yeah <laughs> so we'll, we'll sort of see how it goes i'm sure we can get around it the monday actually where it's happening is 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 our preparation day and rehearsal day so it's less critical right so, okay uh, but you are going to have to be there very early you know yeah <laughs> yes <laughs> four eight o'clock yeah. i was joking i didn't think it would actually <laughs> have that effect <laughs> right when are you hoping this is going to be finished, Kevin? Um, we think, what, autumn time, I think, really? I th yeah, I, mean, I think well, because of the pre-production work we've done, we, we think that once we've shot the thing, it, we'll be able to go straight into post-production yeah. right. almost immediately, so October-ish. And then what are you going to do with it? That's the most important thing. Yeah, we're going to enter it into um, as many festivals as possible, really, um, hopefully win some awards along the way and really get our name out there. Um, we think it's a really um, well-established uh, film. It's a little bit different... Um, we don't like calling it a horror film. It's more of a supernatural drama. Right. I think horror conjures up these ideas of, you know, super jumpy moments, things like that, and ours is more of a, a character piece. Um, the tension develops... And will we be able characters. to see it? Oh, yes, it'll be online. It'll be, we'll put it on YouTube. It's going to be on our website, which is um, evaslegacy.com. Uh, we'll be um, promoting it a lot on social media like Facebook and Twitter as yeah. well. Yeah. So it'll be available to everyone. Right, you need a bit of help, though, don't you? Let's face it, uh, because this all costs money, and uh, maybe, Kevin, you can talk about that, because you, you need money, don't you? Yeah, we do need a little, little bit of money. It's um, Although the, the cast are kind of giving up their, their time for free, um, we do need to um, pay for things like expenses, uh, the location, the equipment, and little things like that, really, isn't it? So. Yeah, I mean, obviously, the... We'd love everything to be completely free, yeah. but obviously certain things do cost, yeah, and, yeah. and obviously that then becomes a personal hit. So obviously um, I'm putting all my time in for free, as, are, as is the director of photography, yeah. who's, who's currently working on the series of 24. Yeah. Um, so he's, he's quite a good guy. Right. Um, but the kit we're using is, is top of the range that the camera we're looking to use is one that they shot the last James Bond film on, so it's, it's top-end um, quality. So how much do you need? What do you need? Well, <clears throat> we've sort of pencilled in around about 2,000 um, as our sort of... That'll make it, obviously, the more we can get, the better. Um, through um, a Kickstarter project, we've managed to raise um, just over 1,600 so far. Yeah. Um, we've got a few days left to go. So, uh, so you need 400 more? 400 more, yeah. And what's in it for the person who gives you 400 quid? There's a, there's a range of different rewards that, uh, that are available, ranging from... Um, at the, at the very low ends, yes, th thanks for doing it. We'll put something on the website, uh, mention the person's name or business, um, <laughs> right the way through to um, an executive producer title, visit to the set and um, and that sort of thing. Right, OK. So that's for £400? That's Well, if, if someone put in £500, that gets that. Um, yeah. And I'll say the, mo the more we get, the better. I mean, if, if we've got 3000 <laughs> yeah, um, it'll be perfect. I mean, <laughs> as, as you rightly said at the front end, um, Hollywood micro-budgets start at... 100,000 or so, so we're doing it a micro, micro, micro budget, really. So, uh, but yes, I mean, it's sort of opportunity for a business, maybe. OK, so if anybody's listening at the moment who would like to put some money into it, a great opportunity for a business in Essex to be part of a film from Essex. Yes, we've got one business so far that's put in um, £1,000, which is great. Yeah. Um, and uh, the... Um, I can't say all their name, presumably, on, on the radio, but... Uh, what, not unless you happen to say it by <laughs> mistake. <laughs> um, the, uh, and, and that's really helpful. So that company, Skulls Direct, is, is going to be able to sort of um, put their name on the back end of the film. Right. And uh, that'd be great. OK, so how do we get in touch with you? If a company's listening that would like to be involved with this, how do we do it? Yeah, visit um, www.evaslegacy.com. You can contact us through there. Um, you can also follow us on Twitter, um, at Evaslegacyfilm. 
And we're also on Facebook if you search for Eva's Legacy that way. So, Gentlemen, thank you very much indeed. Thank Eva's you. Legacy, that's what to, to watch out for online. Uh, screenwriter Kevin Mears, director Simon Frith, thank you very much indeed, both of you, for coming in. Thank we're you. also looking for help if we can. Oh, we're trying to find a photographer, a stills photographer. Um, we're looking for some someone to come in who could dedicate their time for free, um, come along <clears throat> and shoot some publicity stills for us uh, on, on location. If someone's out there... Good quality stills photographer, um, pro if possible, but if not, someone who's very good, um, just contacts in the same way. All right, thank you, gentlemen. Thank and you. Uh, well, why not? Great way to get involved.